a good nigga over it. Huh? Right, yeah. right. Like, you, you under grace, you may not be uh, destroyed for, for a particular act, but you just being a nigga, man. Feeding your flesh. Whatever uh, uh, scratches your itch or feeds your food, fills your belly, that's what you need in the truth. This truth ain't about you. This truth is about putting yourself last, man. Right. Here it is, your homicide. He came on the planet Earth. Oh, man. He came oh, on the planet Earth with spiritual power. I mean, we don't even have spiritual power. This man humbled himself, but he could have took down that whole kingdom at the snap of a finger, right, man. That's right. What would niggas be doing with that power, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd be levitating, reading the Bible, putting it on camera. <laughs> we'd go to the end of the flat earth. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All types of crazy shit, man. I'm doing like this here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Putting my shit over the tip of the flat earth. You know, side. Doing a, uh, do, uh, do a uh, sit down uh, on the moon. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's what Jake would have done with that, with that power, man. But Yahweh came on the planet Earth, and it wasn't about his agenda. He said, I'm here to do my father's work, man. And he had the power. And you niggas don't have no power, man. Right. The power is the word. It's all power, man. Right. So you ain't supposed to use this uh, uh, grace period to become a, more of a nigga, man. Right. Beautiful. That's old, man. Being a nigga is played out. Black culture, all of that, it's about the law, statutes, the commandments of the heavenly father. God. Faith and fear in Yahweh shot. God. That's our culture, man. God. And, and that humility that the brothers speaking about, that's, man, that's the spirit. Because I was telling the brothers last night, man, with Yahweh shot going up on the cross, that really ushered in that uh, the, the, the priesthood of the Melchizedekian order, man. Right. That's a priesthood of selflessness, man. Right. You know, we not we not offering uh, lambs and turtle doves no more. This is an offering of yourself. Right. That's what this priesthood is about, man. Yeah. You got to sacrifice your make your body a living sacrifice. Go ahead. We, we, we're basically we're being the change we want to see. Okay, we say we want righteousness. Well, we go come out on the highways and the byways, and that's what we go stand for. Everybody else is just talking, man. Yeah. Yeah. We. This is about righteousness being established forever, man. Right. That's far from our people's mind. Righteousness being established forever. Right. Yeah, it's a moment. Oh, okay. Come here. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus on Sirach, chapter 5, verse 2. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength, to walk in the ways of thy heart. Right. Don't follow your mind, man, on some flat earth nonsense, man. See, you're supposed to have been able to judge that correctly, man. Right. You're supposed to judge that and say, man, this is whack. This is some bull, man. Get that shit the fuck out of here. But instead, man, you fed into them demons, man. You right. ran with that madness. Hey, man, because you, like we was talking about earlier, man, as a man, there are going to be things that come into your mind, man. Don't entertain all of it, man. You got to know when to rebuke it. That's right. I... Because it's there. The, the fact that the thought came don't make you wicked, but how you react to the right. thought makes That's you right, wicked, I... man. That's right, I... Because this going to be all, man, you could be watching a brother and you feel like, don't tie that nigga, man. And you be like, what the, why did I just think that? What if I spit? <laughs> that shit. Yeah, the thought coming here, what if I just spit in this brother's face while he's talking? And you be like, why did that thought come? <laughs> That's a demon. Right, 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 right. It's going to come, man. There's too much going on in the mind for them demons not to try to attack you there, man. But you got to take the right decision and not do wickedness, man. Right. And that's right. the battlefield, man. At this point in time, the battlefield is up here. Right. Them demons in there, man, trying to take you out, man, with them, with them fiery darts. Go ahead, I. And say not. Who shall control me for my, my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Right. right. And that goes back into judgment, man. Judgment is coming to all y'all that think that, the, you know, you out of the reach of the Most High, man. No man is beyond Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's reach. Right. You can be touched, like they say, That's man. That's right. And you will be touched. That's right. You no. Know? Jake think he can just keep on doing what he's doing, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But then they get shot. Our yeah. people will walk up and down the street acting like monkeys. Right. When you get shot, I'm supposed to march around the street talking about Black Lives Matter. Right. Yeah. I'm supposed to, I'm right. supposed to take time out, take off, and march for your black yeah. ass. Yeah. After you walk the streets of America like a complete buffoon and idiot. Right. Yeah. And exactly. a tough guy playing games, being rude. Uh, rude 
being a mother, then the police shoot your ass, and I'm supposed to sit up here and march for you. No. Make a t-shirt. Make a t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. All right, Pete Tutu. Hell no, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> because death is going to be mercy, really, for the That's right, bro. That's right. right. Because the way that you live in your life on the planet Earth, it's not conducive, and it's not, we, we can't go on with No, you. sir. Not at all. Because niggas have been, have, have, has accepted every behavior into their culture, and then, and then they wear it with, with a badge of dignity. Yeah. Right. Niggas are sick. Oh, I'm sick. Niggas will go to work and compare medications, man. I got to right. take this percent of it. They, well, they wear being sick wow. with a badge of, of dignity. Right. Being negative. They wear it with a, towards each other for no damn reason. Right. They wake up every day and seek another nigga who they can talk about, yeah. yep. what type of shoes he got on. Yep. A bunch of a lot of you men are damn effeminate, man. Right, that's right. Looking right. at what another man got. Look that's at this nigga. A lot of men was raised by women. Well, yeah, there yeah, you go. That's right. That's right. Uh, hey, uh, matter of fact, get uh, Ecclesiastes uh, right here. Ecclesiastes 3. Yep. Sirach 3. Black men locked up in jail. And none. Uh, this is hey, 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 listen to this, brother. This is out of the Holy Scriptures. Go ahead. Sirach 3 and 9. Right. For the blessing of the Father establish it, the houses of children. Right. Now, I never wanted children growing up, man. Now that I have a son, I, I understand the importance of a male figure in that yes, child's sir. life because uh, women allow children to do anything, anything and it's cute. Right, right. Yeah. Now, you have some women who may put their foot down, but overall, they just don't have it. Uh, That's not their role. Yeah. Okay. Now, they're, they're, they are the first teacher. They're yeah. supposed to nurture the children and pass down the vibration of the father. But see, they bound them. What's that scripture? Did they bound the, the strong one? Oh, yeah. yeah, get that. Read, read that again. Read that again. Yeah. For the blessing of the father establishes the houses of children. Uh -huh. But the curse of the mother rooted out the foundation. Right. But the curse of the mother. See, the white man's losing his mind. Yeah. They don't know what to do. Yeah. All we're doing is reading the Bible. Meanwhile, you got people spraying chemtrails all throughout the sky. Ain't none of you uh, numb nut Americans got anything to say about what's happening to your BS economy in your country, man. Yeah, yeah. But you yeah. see black men preaching the Bible, I got to go mess with them. Yeah, man, he's going to probably go jack off to us. Now, what, what is the white man's infatuation with so-called Negroes? I don't know. Right. Yeah. Well, 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 you got the whole world in your hand. The homosexual right. vibe, pussy. bro. Right. I'm sure you got $100,000. Yeah. Go get some pussy. What you him sitting up here filming us for? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, yeah, go, well, go get a little boy. Go get a little boy. Hello? Yeah, see, he's he not used to seeing real men. Right. right. It, it turned them on. They, right. they got that fact. Right. I hate to say the fucking words, but just being realistic in the sick society. Man. Right. Right. He's not used to seeing real men, and it baffles him, and, and he gets infatuated with it. Right. He's like, a I've freak. never seen this, man. <laughs> yeah. They're not being niggas. Back to the scripture, yeah. man. All they gonna do is try to say that we're terrorists. Yeah. And try to paint us as the real problem. Yeah, yeah black supremacy. You got niggas getting patted down to get on the airplane. What nigga you know gonna cause some friction in the air? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga waiting to land, man. He needs to be on the ground before he does anything. But we gonna touch that ground, that cement, touch the tires, and then I act the ass. But he ain't gonna act the ass in the sky. Jake bro. say that. He say when this plane land, I'm gonna whoop your mother. Whoop your ass. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. But the curse of the woman. Start up, start up. Uh, Sirach three and nine. For the blessing of the father establishes the houses of children. Uh huh. But the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. The curse of the mother rooted yeah. out the foundations. So he's right. You got a bunch of emotional ass men, high off medicine, allergy medicine, yeah. uh, uh, AIDS medicine, yeah. Ritalin, uh, ADHD, raised by a rebellious woman, man, who have taught them their whole life to hate themselves, yeah, man. Set them in front of the TV. Yeah. Set them in front of the TV. Getting, uh, right. bit, back beat up by some other That's right. right. That's right. In the other room, man. That's right. Right. Yeah. Talking on the phone loud. You got to understand, children are picking up on all this behavior. Then this nigga grows up and goes to the club and somebody steps on his shoe. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, the club this little. I mean, yeah, it's dark. No, it's dark. I'm drunk. The club this damn small. Yeah, you, I, doing, yeah, you doing the stanky leg. Right. I'm supposed to just jump over. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I got gas. I'm at the club. I'm tired. Right. I, I might bump into you, man. We don't have to fight. Yeah. I'm tired of niggas, man. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. They, 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 it's the end of the Negro. Right. right. Yeah. The shit got to go, man. Just like it's the end of. Right. Uh, yeah. it's uh, end of the, it's just, just like it's the end of white supremacy. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're at the twilight yeah. of white supremacy. We're at the twilight of niggas. Yeah. Right. Right. We're right. at the twilight of future. <laughs> right. 
All right, the yeah. meat meal Drake beef. Right. Whack. Whack. Yeah. Whack is all that. We're at the end of it, man. Yeah. Kanye West. I'm, yeah. I'm tired of yeah, he's a genius. I'm tired of these things, man. All right. Both eyes tired of them. Yeah, it's, it's over for the Negro. Yeah, Eric Badu. All right. Yeah. General Johannes Boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of that shit. Got to go. Come on. Right. All that. The ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> The black woman and her black woman. Woman. It's got to stop. Right. <laughs> because it's because it'll keep going and they don't care, man. Women, that's why it's this the best time to be the man of the Lord right now. Right. But amongst right. all of the madness, you go stand up and stand up for what's right in the scriptures, man. Because what did he do? He bound the strong man. Read that. Yeah, go, go. It's Matthew chapter 12, verse 29. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house? How can one enter into a strong man's house, man? Go ahead. And spoil his goods, uh -huh. except he first bind the strong man. First they bind the strong man. Uh -huh. Okay, they, they, they feminize him. They raped you in front. The so-called white man raped his slaves in front of their children. A man, come here. Bend over. Call it buck breaking. And yeah, you so-called Negroes walking up and down the streets happy in America. Man. Yeah. They bent the, the male over in front of his child and raped him. That's right. And that's what that's white history. Damn. Right. Rape them in front, rape yeah. you in front of your child, bro. Yeah, and now you don't even have to be broken, man. You already, you come out effeminate, man. Yeah. Right. They ready. They, they you, you right. these, these, these so-called black men are already bent over, man. Yeah. <laughs> They ain't coming out, man. Hey, then Jacob fight to get a more in a movie playing the fucking role. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I say this right quick, man. Yeah, well, no, I, we yeah, I say this going back to what the brother was talking about <clears throat> with the white man, man. They amazed because they really like, man. The the mind control is, is broken. They amazed to see men standing up being black men Masculine. standing up being men. Yeah. That amazes them because it's like, man, I thought we had them under control. Right. And it's now they amazed. Right. Let me get a picture. Right. Some niggas right. standing up. Right. right, right, right. Get that after three days and a half, the Spirit of God into their right. life, man. We live it at the time of Ezekiel 37, man. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, restart over. Start at the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Matthew chapter 12, verse 29. Right. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house? Right. And spoil his goods, mm -hmm. except he first bind the strong man, mm -hmm. and then he will spoil his house. Right, and that's what happened. That's why any anything is allowed into your so-called little black culture because you don't have no men standing up because he's been bound. He's afraid to stand. He's afraid to be different. All right. Here it is. You got you got a transgender can walk up and down the street, right. and everybody will be clap for him. But you preach the word of the Bible on the corner. You crazy. But Bruce Jenner is okay. Yeah. That's what that's the world we're living in, man. So so we 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 came to the conclusion that we have no other choice but to come out here and scream at the top of our lungs with the scriptures, man. Yeah, right. Because that's what the scriptures say. Do. Go ahead. Now I say this right quick to add to that scripture. Feminism was that key that key bind, man. That, that bound the strong man which got the man out of the house. Right. And now the, the women, they put the women in charge, man. These women are out of control, man. The feminism bound the strong man by getting the, getting the man out of the house. Right. And check you know? this out. I, uh, even if the man is in the house, it's, it's like the man ain't in the house. Yeah. Because yeah. he he in Jake Weak, right? Right. right. Like, like Eddie you know Wins, Carl Winslow. Yeah. 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 Walking around the kitchen smiling all the time. Yeah. Right. You got to act. The, the, the woman makes the uh, decisions in the house. Yeah, my dad didn't really say too much, but when he spoke, I, I you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These dads now that angry with Mr. Cooper shit. No action, mom. Hey, but like, with like yeah. the old saying, he saw God, happy life, happy wife. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right, happy life, happy wife. You have another nigga get on you for disciplining your child. Yeah. Hey, man, you ain't got to whoop him. Yeah. You ain't got to touch with your hands on him. Just talk to him. Yeah. And that's anti Messiah. Because in the scriptures, it tells you to. Uh, to uh, Discipline your child. To conquer that child, right, bro? Here we go. I am the Let's go. Judge Dredd. Yeah. Revelation 11 and 9. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies right. three days and a half. Right, they shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, man. 
from the period of like 1600s to about the 1970s, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American had no clue that he needed to stand up. What should he do? Uh -huh. Okay? And he was dead. That's why they were spirits. They called them dead bodies. Go ahead. Right. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Right. They ain't gonna suffer your dead bodies to be put in graves. They gonna just walk around and look at the dead body. They ain't gonna tell you, oh, if you wanna live, you you know, come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. They gonna teach you in the school that you a nigga. That Aretha Franklin, Martin Luther King, Harry, something the same old story that's gonna keep you dead. Go ahead. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Right. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice, man. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> and when and we fell, they were happy, man. They they wanted this day to come, like it says in Lamentation, yeah. Hey, right? right? And make merry. So he, he say they got complaints about blocking the sun. Okay. Just, just come in. And make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Right. Because these two prophets tormented them right. that dwell on the earth. Right. They, they shall make merry and send gifts to one another because these two prophets would as what? Symbolic of the southern and the northern kingdom. Right. That's right. They tormented them when they was on, in power. Okay. We've had these heathen nations under our authority. Man. Right. They, were, they had to follow our laws and follow our ways. So they, when, when we fell, they knew in their spirit we got them back. That's why they're rejoicing right, over right, you every right, day. Right. That's why they have a whole system dedicated to your downfall, and they talk about it on the news all day, like you the real problem. Right. Like, like you the one causing yeah. all the issues yeah. on the planet Earth. Yeah. The Negroes don't own the Federal Reserve. That is one of the major problems in the world. Yeah. Negroes don't create diseases. They give them to each other. Right. <laughs> okay? Okay? All right. That's what we, 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 we're dealing with the actual issue. Right. Everybody wants to look at our people, which we get on our people. The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, two-thirds of them, they're not right. We're not with black culture selling drugs, shooting each other, yeah. going to church, hopping up and down, screaming with a damn pork chop in your back pocket, man. Right. All of that, man. We're not with that. We're not with the behavior of our people. But, but why are they that way? Why are so-called Negroes so disrespectful and hate one another? Who did that to them? Right. Who implemented a system that you should fight and hate one another? Right. Because if you, like I say this all the time, you take five children of so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, you give them a proper diet, you tell them who they are, all right? You, 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 feed, you give them the right music to listen to, like symphony, jazz, and things that build their minds up. You take them five children, they'll grow up and they'll be great. Okay? But you take that same five children and you give them McDonald's, yeah. you show them Eddie Murphy Raw, yeah. <laughs> all right, PET, right. and all this madness, they going to future, they going to grow up and be demons, shoot each other, yeah. fight each other. And yeah. who implements that system? Who controls what comes on the TV? Yeah. Since you want to complain about it so much, well, let's complain about who put it there. Yeah. You complaining about the products instead of going into the machine that produces the producer, the products. That's right, right? That's right. right. You protest and trying to say, we need to fix these products. Right. But what about the machine? What about this huge geopolitical right. hegemon that creates the status quo? Um. That creates what you understand is what's considered right and wrong. That implants these ideas before you even come out the womb. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's a scripture in the Apocrypha somewhere where it's talking about how uh, how the, the the heathen made us go off. You know what I'm saying? As long as they as long as they in tune with their power, we can't do nothing with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They know that. But they, they know that. So that's why I'm say that's why when you see a, 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 a GMO burger, you got you got somebody rapping in the background, and you got uh, and you got and you got Jake eating the burger. You know what I'm saying? You don't see white people on McDonald's commercials. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but they try to get. Like I said, they try to get. They, they try to make sure. They try to make sure that they make make us go off. The further we are, the further yeah, we are away from our power, the, 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 the more they can uh, go on with their own plans. Let's go, Tar Heel. Let's go, Tar Heel. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. All these spirits were back in the ancient world, vexing us in another way. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Right, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Our people 
people in their natural form, we can, man, we, we got, I, man, look, some of the brothers, the ideas we sit down and talk about, we could change the world, man, if we really put our energy into it. Who but we put our energy into the school. Brothers, 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 brothers deal with music, brothers deal with, man, we can, but, but in our natural order, we're more righteous than so right. right. But, but go ahead. But the way of the wicked seduces them. But the way of the wicked seduces them. And he puts it in your music. He puts it in your food. He puts it on television. He's, he's programming you to be a natural brute beast and take pride in it. And take a selfie while doing it. Right. 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 You see what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Right. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. Now you're seeing the spirit.